Hello everyone, it's that time of year again. This is the post-National Train Day update video for 2023. And I make these videos every year because, well, my birthday and National Train Day are very close to each other on the calendar, so I combine the two, showing the train-related items that I got for my birthday as well as National Train Day. Now, spoiler alert, everything that's seen in this video here is all of the train related stuff from my birthday. I didn't really do anything special for National Train Day because I had a scheduling conflict this year. So with that said, we'll take a look at the first item that I got for my birthday that was train related, which is inside this box. It's an Atherin box. The question that you're thinking right now is what is inside this box? Well, we're going to find out right now, actually. So lift that up. And here it is. This is a Chicago Northwestern boxcar, 50 foot single door. Let's pull it out of the box right here. And the door is actually open, which is what I love on all boxcars, regardless of what size they are. I'll zoom in on some of the details here. It's a very nice car. Now when I got the car, one of the coupler pockets right here was actually broken. So I had to super glue the coupler pocket to the frame because it was loose and it eventually broke off. But it was a quick easy fix. And this is despite the fact that it was packed very well. It's still broke. But now it should be stronger than ever. And these are Katie couplers, by the way. So it's a very nice car. You gotta be careful with these doors here. Oh, there we go. But they do open and close, which is really, really nice. And there's also a parts diagram included. It came with the car as well. So that was the first item that I got for my birthday for 2023 that was train related. Now we'll move on to the next one, which is... This DVD called Early Amtrak Across Wisconsin. This is made by Pentrex. This is the front side of it. And here's the back. We'll go back to the front again. So this DVD has footage of early Amtrak trains across Wisconsin in the 1970s, back when Amtrak was brand new. And this was back during the Rainbow Era, as it was known, because Amtrak was still using equipment that they inherited from predecessor railroads that had passenger service. And then they had their own livery come out, which ultimately replaced the fallen flag liveries that were used on those trains. And so during this time, there were some significant changes that happened to the routing of some of these trains. For example, the Empire Builder, which is the Chicago to Seattle and Portland, Oregon train these days on Amtrak. Originally, before the Amtrak era, that train ran from Chicago to Seattle, and it was on the uh, Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy where they ran from Chicago to Minnesota's Twin Cities. That was on a different route, which they don't use anymore these days. And that route went alongside the Mississippi River for part of it. Well, when Amtrak took over in 1971, they rerouted that train where it went on the former Milwaukee Road's main line by way of Milwaukee, and then across Wisconsin that way. And that's the way it is still to this day. Another change that happened with Amtrak when they came into view was there was a train that the Gulf Mobile and Ohio Railroad had that went from St. Louis to Chicago called the Abraham Lincoln and when Amtrak took over they extended that train's run where the train 
went from St. Louis to Milwaukee, and that train's also seen here. There's also footage of the North Coast Hiawatha, which was also another Chicago to Seattle train that Amtrak had that went on the former Northern Pacific main line when it crossed the Rockies in Montana and Idaho and then into uh, Washington State. And there's also some extra footage as well. So not everything here is literally early Amtrak across Wisconsin. There's also some extra content as well. You'll see freight trains from the Sioux Line, Burlington Northern, and Milwaukee Road. There's also footage in Illinois showing footage of passenger trains on former Santa Fe, Penn Central, Illinois Central, and Gulfmobile and Ohio lines. And there's also some footage of the Schlitz Circus train during the 1970s when it was actually pulled by Oddly enough, it was pulled by the Southern Railway 282 Mikado type steam locomotive number 4501. There's also some footage of that, and also as another bonus, there's some footage on board Amtrak's North Coast Hiawatha as it was traversing the Rockies in Montana. And there are also previews, and also another interesting thing about this DVD is that it gives you the option to watch it with or without narration. Not too many uh, Pentrex DVDs have that. And also, it does have previews like most of the Pentrex productions do. And all the footage is in color, and most of it has sound. So it's just a really interesting piece of railroading history right here. Great variety for a production that's an hour long. There's a great variety of trains to be seen here. So, we'll move on to the next item that I got for my birthday that was train related. We'll take a look at that right now, which is... This Lionel train sign. This is of the Lionel logo that they've used since 1998. And it's a metal sign right here of that logo. And it's a nice piece. I also got this Amtrak mug. This is the Amtrak logo in the Phase 3 paint scheme, which is the one that has the symmetrical red, white, and blue stripes. This livery was introduced in 1976, and Amtrak used it well into the 1990s, and it lingered on into the 21st century in the 2000s and a little bit into the 2010s. And in the 2010s, when Amtrak had their 40th anniversary train, they painted the whole train in this livery that you see here, the Phase 3 livery. And... In the 2010s and 2020s, they've been bringing back the Phase 3 livery on some, but not all, of their equipment. In particular, the GE P32 ACDM Genesis diesel locomotives and the Viewliner baggage cars. They have been painted into the Phase 3 paint scheme, like you see here. And this is a really neat mug. So now we'll move on to the final train-related item that I got for my birthday of 2023, and we'll take a look at that right now. And this is the final train-related item that I got for my birthday of 2023. This is a railroad tie. And no, this is not the kind of tie where you would put two rails across and call it a railroad track. No, this is a piece of clothing. This is what you could wear with a suit. And interesting thing about this tie, why it's a railroad tie, is that, well, you can see that there are some locomotives on it, some 19th century built 10-wheeler type steam locomotives, and you can also see that there are several different railroad logos here, with Union Pacific, Southern Pacific, Chicago Northwestern, Western Pacific, and Missouri Pacific. So they're all from the Union Pacific family for all the logos that are shown here, and it's a very nice, interesting looking tie. Very nice. So that concludes this year's post-National Train Day update video, and I'd like to give a special shout out to my Patreon supporters at this time. Your names are listed here. And stay tuned, because for the next 12 months or so, I have some exciting videos planned that I'll be uploading here onto my channel. So thank you very much for watching. Take care.